Hello, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to show you how to get all of your pictures to line up. And uh, if you go to Shopify's website, you'll see that you have to have the same aspect ratio to have your pictures lined up. Now, these two photos have two different aspect ratios. This one's a perfect square, and this one is not. So it doesn't matter what the size of the photo is, although a higher resolution is going to be clearer and it's going to be bigger when you blow up the picture uh, like this if you have a, a larger picture. Uh, so better to have a higher resolution on the picture when you load that in. Now if you have a lower resolution on the picture and see this is not a perfect square on this picture. So how do we make these items a perfect square? And if you look you can see right here that we have all of these items lined up and these are all lined up exactly because the aspect ratio of the items is a perfect square. And it doesn't have to be a perfect square. It could, it could be a perfect rectangle, but it has to have the same aspect ratio. So if this was 500 on the top and this was 1,000 on the bottom, that would be a 2 to 1 ratio. And if this was 2 to 1, regardless of the size, it could just be 50 and um, 100, it would still look the same on here, although the resolution wouldn't be as good if you did a smaller picture when you blew it up. So you want to keep the same aspect ratio, and that's going to keep everything lined up neatly in rows on your site. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, just on an iPhone using PS Touch, and you can use any photo editor, but if you have something where you can control the size of the photo, you can crop, and you can do uh, a white layer or a colored layer behind it, that makes it much simpler. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Photoshop Touch, which is an app right here, and it's got a PS in the middle with the circle around it in blue. And I'm just going to click on this app, and uh, it's going to bring up photos that I've already taken. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to take this particular photo in the upper left hand corner and I'm going to put it into the aspect ratio of a square. So we can take a look at this photo and we can always check the image size when we put it in here and see image size 1600 by 320. So I want it to be 1600 by 1600. So I'm just going to cancel this out and click done. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to hit the photo bottom, uh, the photo plus photo button on the bottom and I'm going to create a blank document. And then I'm just going to tap into here. I'm going to clear this out and put 1600. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the lower field here. I'm going to clear it 1600. Okay, so now I've got a 1600 by 1600 square. So if I hit the ampersand in the upper right hand corner, and I'm just going to fill this with white. I've got it on gray right here, so I'm going to fill it with white to have a white background. And I'm just going to place my photo using the layers in the bottom right hand corner in this. And since my photo is already on white, it's just going to be white on white and you won't see any difference here. So if I go to photo layer on the top, photo library, it's going to take me to, and I have saved this picture in my photo library. So for some reason it turned it on me, but all I have to do is pull this down here and turn it like that and just sh shrink those sides in a little bit and it snaps right in there. So that's all there is to it. Then I check mark this, hit done and save. So now I have this photo right here on the left hand side and it's a perfect square. So if I were to bring this back in and I looked at my aspect ratio the image size is 1600 by 1600. It's a perfect square. I can post that on my site and then if all my pictures have the same aspect ratio it's just going to make it nice and clean in there. The last thing I want to do is I want to add this uh, to my photo album. So if I want to change the name of this I can also save uh, a new name by just tapping on where it says Untitled 6 under it and just type in um, you know, I can type in turquoise earrings, for instance. So I'm just going to type in earrings, then click on done, and then I'm going to hit the share button on the bottom right, and I'm going to save to camera roll. Just tap on the one that I want to save, and save it as a JPEG. I can pick any format I want, and that's it. So now 
this in the perfect aspect ratio that I need is in my photos and here it is right here and it's a perfect square uh, when I want to upload that to my website that's all there is to it thanks for tuning in and if you need help with your website you can check out my website or contact me at pinehurstwebsites.com thanks for tuning in if you have any questions please feel free to contact me